Namaste, welcome to India Yoga Online Learning. We will work on 20 minutes of flow vinyasa today. Make sure coordinate your breath harmoniously and play with your practice, don't fight. Let us move to the practice. Please stand on the top of your mat, keeping a foot distance away from the edge of the mat. And with the breath, centerize yourself, shift the weight in all four directions equally, a light contraction on the pelvic floor, with the entire body response to your inhalation and exhalation, which is effortless and continuous. Once you are ready, as you inhale, slowly raise your hands from the side and extend your trunk, but no stress on the neck or shoulder, palms gently pressing each other. If comfortable, slightly look up to your thumb. Slowly turn the palms front, soften the knee, work all the way front from the hip and go down all the way and rest your hands next to your feet. Slightly lift the head and gradually look up with the next inhalation. As you exhale, slowly walk back to Dvipada Prasarnasana. If you are comfortable, softly bend the elbow and go to Chaturanga Dandasana, pelvic slightly contracted, the feet can be kept together or wider each other, as you inhale smoothly, push front and roll the shoulder, point your toes back, slight contraction on the pelvic floor and elbow soft and roll the shoulder, gradually drop the knee and take your toes in, raise the hips up to Adho Mukha Shwanasana, keep your feet slightly wider. A pelvic slightly contracted, spine lengthen, extend your trunk, weight equally shared, breathe smooth and long for few seconds. With every single breath and body response for it, the weight between hands and legs equal, one of the beautiful asana to calm down the mind, experience it. Let the next inhalation slowly bring your feet inside your hands and smoothly look front and concave your back. The next exhalation all the way bend front again, bring your face towards your shin and pull the belly. The next inhalation slowly scroll your spine and come back to standing straight. The spine remain uplifted, light contract on your pelvic floor. Now prepare for Vinyasa A. As you inhale, slowly raise your hands again straight up and extend your trunk. If comfortable, try to see your thumb. Exhale and soften the knee and bend all the way front from your hips. Rest the hands next to your feet and pull the belly and maximum bend front. The next inhalation, smoothly lift the head and concave your back but no stress on the neck. The exhalation, bend the knee and walk back to Dvipada Prasarnasana or bend the elbow for Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale and smoothly push front and roll the shoulder for Urdhva Mukha Shwanasana, toes pointed, elbow soft, roll the shoulder. Then softly drop the knee, take your toes in, raise the hips to Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Lengthen your spine, light contraction on the pelvic floor. From here, softly bring your both legs between your hands. And bend the knee and push the hip and raise your hands from the side to Utkatasana. And light contraction on the pelvic floor, pull the abdomen, spine really lengthen. But no stress on the neck and take your trunk around 45 degree from the hip. If comfortable, try to see your thumb. It's one of the powerful asana to keep you strong. And you might observe there is a very strong reaction comes from the back muscle during every exhalation. Belly actively pulled in, pelvic slightly contracted. The next exhalation, extend the trunk forward, go all the way down and rest the hands next to the feet and walk back to Dvipada Prasarnasana or Chaturanga Dandasana. The next inhalation, slowly push front and roll the shoulder, drop the knees and toes pointed to Urdhva Mukha Shvanasana. Exhale and drop the knees. Take your toes in and raise the hips to Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Extend your trunk. The next inhalation, all the way bring your feet between your hands. 
to Uttanasana, lift the head and concave your back. The next exhalation all the way bent front to Padhasthasana. Now as you inhale, slowly scroll your spine, vertebra by vertebra and come back to Tadasana. Center yourself completely. Now the next one, the Vinyasa B, as you inhale, raise the hands from your side to Urdhvahasthasana. Come gently press it, slightly look up if you're comfortable, but no stress on the neck. Softly bend the knees, extend your trunk and bend front and rest the hands next to the feet to Padastasana and pull the belly. Inhale and lift the head and concave your back. Exhale and walk back to Dvipada Prasaranasana or Chaturanga Dandasana. Slowly push front and roll back to Urdhva Mukhaswanasana. Elbow soft, roll the shoulder and expand the chest. Drop the knee and take your toes in and raise the hip to Adho Mukhaswanasana. Make your feet into V shape right now. Slowly bring your right foot in between your hands. Bend the right knee, push the hip and raise the hands from the side. Extend your trunk and push the hip. Light contraction in the pelvic floor. Palm gently pressing each other. Their sides are well lifted. And if comfortable, slightly look up to your thumb. It's called Veerabhadrasana A. Breathe smooth and long from your chest and clavicular. Remember to keep the equal weight on both legs. Lengthen the sides of the body well. One of the powerful asana for depression. Then slowly open your palms and extend it front all the way go down. Rest the hands next to your right foot and slowly walk your right leg back to Chaturanga Dandasana. And push friend to Urdhva Mukhaswanasana. Adho Mukhaswanasana. Make your feet into V shape again. For the Virabhadrasana, bring your left foot inside your left hand. Push the hip. Raise your hands from the side. Extend your trunk and push the hip. If comfortable, look up, but no stress on the neck. Remember, no pressure on the knee. Feel the extension, and each breath makes you strong and stable, helps to overcome all our negative thinking and builds up a very strong neuromuscular strength. Watch every single breath which is smooth and long, never fight, play with your breath. Now smoothly extend your trunk all the way go down and rest the hands next to your foot, walk back to Chaturanga Dandasana, slowly move into Urdhva Mukhaswanasana. Exhale and get into Adho Mukhaswanasana. Now slowly make your feet into V shape. Bring your right foot inside your right hand and make your right knee straight. Share equal weight and open your chest to your left and raise your left hand straight up. And weight equally shared on both legs and square the hip, pull the belly, open your chest. Watch a few smooth and long breathing. Both knees remain soft and pelvic remain contracted and make sure no stress on the neck. Trikonasana is one of the powerful asana. Now slowly roll in all the way walk back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Then Urdhva Mukhaswanasana with inhalation. Adho Mukhaswanasana. And make your feet into V shape again. Bring your left foot between your hands and make your left knee straight, square the hip and open your chest to the right and raise your right hand up there. Share equal weight on both legs, a light contraction on the pelvic floor and no stress on the neck again. One of the powerful asana to strengthen your waist and your legs. It also helps to shape up your thighs and any excess weight from the abdomen can easily relieve off and builds up a strong respiratory system. Keep breathing smooth and long. Now gradually roll in again. Slowly walk your left leg back to Chaturanga Dandasana. And smoothly move front to Urdhva Mukhaswanasana. And push back to Adho Mukhaswanasana. And share equal weight between hands and your legs. Then once again, bring your feet into V-shape. Bring your right foot between your hands and make your right knee straight 
and squared the hip. Share equal weight now. Pelvic contracted, abdomen pulled in. Bhari Vratta Trikonasana. Bring the left hand close to the right foot and open your chest to the right and raise your right hand straight up. Make your spine remain parallel to the floor. Pelvic contracted. Hip remains square. Equal weight remain maintained on both legs. The hands only supports to open the chest better. And make sure no stress on the neck. Breathe smooth and long few times. Experience the rotation of the waist. Then gradually roll in. Slowly go down and readjust your hands. Walk back to Chaturanga Dandasana. And smoothly roll back to Urdhva Mukha Shwanasana. Then drop the knee and take the toes into Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Once again make your feet into V-shape. And bring your left foot between your hands. Make your left knee straight. Square the hip. Pull the belly. Slowly bring your right palm close to your left foot. Open your chest to the left. And raise your left hand straight up. Get a good rotation. Pelvic contracted. Spine lengthen. Weight equally shared. You can see the amount of work on the waist. It is, builds a very strong waist strength. And helps to release the rigidness from the back and your hips. And one of the powerful asana for respiration. And release the rigidness from the neck and shoulder. In case you have a neck pain, please don't look up. Look remain straight. And hold it for around 20 to 30 seconds on average every day. Slowly roll in. And readjust your hands back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Smoothly push front, roll the shoulder, expand the chest and Adho Mukha Shwanasana, lengthen your spine. Then slowly bring your feet again into V-shape. Slowly place your right foot between your hands. Bend the right knee, push the hip, open the chest to your left and raise your left hand up. Raise your right left arm over your ear if you're comfortable. But no stress on the neck. Weight equally shared. Parshua Konasana. If comfortable, look up to your thumb. But make sure there is no stress on the neck. Pelvic slightly contracted. Work with every single breath. And make sure the back knee remains soft. Then gradually roll in. And place the hands and readjust. And walk back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Smoothly push front to Urdhva Mukha Shwanasana. Gradually get into Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Once again, make your feet into V-shape. Bring your left foot between your hands. Bend your left knee. Push the hip. And smoothly open your chest from your right side. And raise your right hand straight up. Open your chest. Square the hip. Share equal weight. If still comfortable, softly stretch your Right hand over your right ear. Open your chest as much as possible. Get a good extension. A light contraction on the pelvic floor which helps to breathe from the chest and clavicular. But make sure the left hand not carrying any weight. Which is one of the powerful asana to strengthen your legs, waist and your neck. And you might observe right now there is a strong work on your respiratory system that helps to improve your Lungs capacity. Play with your practice but don't fight. Now slowly roll in. Walk back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Push friend to Urdhva Mukha Shwanasana. Slowly drop the knee and raise your hips to Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Then gradually come friend and lie down on your belly to Bhujangasana. Slowly raise your chest. Toes pointed, roll the shoulder and take your hands behind your back. Interlock your fingers. Roll the shoulder. Lift the chest. Light contraction in the pelvic floor. Be smooth and long breaths. Make sure no pressure on the neck or knee. But breathe smooth and long. Watch every breath and body responds to it. Then gradually take your hands behind your head. Pujangasana B. The chest is lifted. Shoulder rolled away from the ear and no stress on the neck. Watch every single breath. One of the powerful asana to make you light and energetic. At the same time, 
beautiful and challenging. Make sure the palms remain behind the head, not on the sides. That's beautiful. Slowly get into Chaturanga Dandasana back. Urdhva Mukha Shwanasana. Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Extend your trunk. Share equal weight between your hands and your feet. Pelvic slightly contracted. Spine really lengthened. Watch every single breath. We did many times repeating this. But this is one of the powerful asana to make you calm. Make you quick relaxed once you mastered. In case you have any extra pressure on the shoulder, elbow or wrist, you can bend your knee a little. And pull the belly and breathe majorly happens on your chest and clavicular. Watch every single breath and body responds to it. Few smooth and long breathing. Observe it. Then gradually drop the knee down. A little wider than shoulder distance. Toes slowly touching each other and smoothly sit back on your heels. The palms remain stays as it is. See the extension of the trunk. The forehead down. Pelvic slightly contracted. And make sure there is no stress on the neck or shoulder. But active work comes from the belly and sides of the body. Adho Mukha Virasana. One of the beautiful relaxing asana. It keeps your mind calm. A consistent and regular practice prevents the migraine and tension headache. And you can see the rich circulation on the head. Which helps a lot to face the day-to-day -day stress. And one of the quick relaxing asana it is. Not only during yoga practice time. Even the day-to-day Whenever exhausted or tired, just go and do for a minute or two this. That quickly relaxes you and refreshes you. And always make sure, don't fight, then don't keep the chin down. Always keep the forehead down to get the best result out of it. And there should be no stress on the neck or shoulder. Then smoothly scroll your spine. And gradually come back and sit on your heels. The knees bring it together. Eyes remain closed. And spine uplifted and rest the palms on your thighs. With the beautiful sensation around your face. Then gradually move your attention on your respiration. The inhalation makes you full of energy. Exhalation makes you completely grounded. Watch every single breath. Each inhalation makes you full of energy. Exhalation makes you deep relaxed. Keep watching your breath for a few seconds. Mind completely calms down. The body releases all your tiredness out. See the total presence of the mind. Experience every single breath and body reaction for it. This presence will be leads to the entire day now. Experience it. Now smoothly rub your palms. Rub it nicely and slowly cover over your eyes. Gently press it. Feel the warmness around the eyes. And gradually drop your palms on your cheeks. And give a gentle finger massage around the eyes. Now slowly bring your hands in front. With few gentle blinks open your eyes and see straight your palms. Dhaniwad. Have a wonderful day. To get the best result. 21 days. Do this consistently practice in the same place and same time. As always we say, learn right, practice consistently, find your way to the happiness.